gotten a five, what is it, 540, 535i? That's twin turbo, right? Mm-hmm. Show us what it's got, let's go. <laughs> first things first, gotta get some lunch. What shades on the windows here? Seems like uh, tinted, but not that tinted on the front. 40% on, on the front windshield. That's 40 on the windshield? Side. Yeah. And then what on the sides? 15. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's pretty nice on the sides. That's 40 though, huh? Mm -hmm. Seems so much darker on my truck. Drop the gear, man. Disappear. Let's go. Okay. All right. All right. I like it. I like it. Okay. A little pep in her step. All right. So now we're heading down to a, uh, a graphic shop. Potentially designing me a new wrap design for the FJ Cruiser. That we might be doing a custom wrap for. All righty, guys. Welcome to Raption. We got our boy John, the CEO in the house right here. About to give us a little tour real quick. So when you print vinyl wrap, you have to laminate every one of them, right? Yeah. Is that how that, yeah, how that works? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you can't leave it just raw no, like this. No, so it goes through printing right here. This is phase one. Yeah. Well, phase one is design. Design. So this is your guy you come to if you want to have a design design, custom done. Custom, print, install, all that. Install too. So commercial vehicles, so that's the cars. That's working on right now. See? That's just the graphics that we're going to put on the truck. So basically you guys take, like you have a, a mock-up of pretty much every vehicle yes. out there on the computer system. So we can do a mock-up like that. So, we so if you have, say for example, an FJ Cruiser 2022 yes. Tundra, you guys have the computer system to pop yes. up that actual vehicle and scale it all perfectly. Yes. So then they custom design it, yes. print it out right print here, it, laminate, laminate it. it. And, and in this then, case, we're going to counter cut on the machine. So the machine will do the cutting for us to make it nice and beautiful. So it's all scaled nicely. Exactly. So we're going to be working on something very custom design certain colors yeah. we're not going to give you guys any <laughs> secrets quite yet but uh soon to come on that and then uh hopefully eventually we can get that done that'd be awesome i'm sure you're busy so no 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 pressure but alrighty, guys welcome back to daylight window tent you guys know this is the only place i go for window tent despite the fact you are an hour away from me pedro but you are worth the drive each and every time my man i tell you what but anyways this here is the owner and operator pedro in the house Today we are doing a uh, little more of a conservative tint job. So as you guys seen on my 2022 Tundra, I did limo on the front two roll-ups, limo over the factory uh, tinted glass, and then 40 on the windshield, which, uh, you know, is not for everybody. This time around, I want to do something a little more sort of daily drivable and functional, um, a little more so at nighttime too, so we don't have to roll them down every time we turn anywhere. I'd say this is probably roughly a 20% shade yeah, on this one that's 20 percent factory tin is always 20 percent okay so i'm trying to achieve like a limo look okay so to do that do we do like a 15 over that 20 15. yeah we can go 15 if you want all the way around and the rear is gonna look limo tin and the two front windows is gonna look the same as this one right here but do a 15 percent over that and you will achieve a limo look so i think that's what we'll do for this one right here and then yeah, 15 on the front two roll-ups, that's a shade lighter than the limo. Still pretty dark, but like you can still see out of it a lot better. That should be nice and practical. So, so unlike me. <laughs> hey, we're, it's all part of growing up, I guess, right? <laughs> I don't know, something like that. But anyways, yeah, we're gonna get right to it. Well, I'm not, but Pedro is. But we're gonna supervise, yeah. <laughs> Plotter is what he uses to pre-cut the material for the sake of mostly efficiency, but um, not using blades in the car is really good too. Now he also uses that for the PPF jobs, which is something he's very well known for. This Tesla here and this Tesla right here are both getting full clear bra jobs or PPF. PPF is paint protection film, which is either a clear film or a satin finish. You can throw a satin finish clear bra over your car to make the factory color uh, a satin finish. Or you can do uh, this clear one right here. You guys can't really see it too well, but Self-healing, 10-year warranty, that there is what P uh, Pedro is known for is the PPF and of course, window tint. But yeah, the plotter is what he uses to pre-cut all the material to make the job go a bit faster and to avoid cutting on the car. Ah, wrong 
say? Oh. Cut! Oh no! We didn't do windshield on mine today. We'll come back for windshield, but all my side windows, well, I got two windows, two little split doors right there, and then three rear windows. Looks well, like a standard, I guess, like a sedan. How long does that take? Like it probably takes two hours. Two hours? And then cure time. Cure time, two days. So you can't roll the windows down in that meantime? Yeah, for two days. Okay. If you see like water packets, everything will disappear in two days. Yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. You can still roll them down kind of if you need to, right? No? No? <laughs> Just don't do it? <laughs> See, that's probably the most common questions right there, huh? Mm -hmm. What else do you think people would want to know? Can I get a discount? <laughs> <laughs> no, no discounts. You either get good work or good pricing. Exactly. It doesn't normally go both ways, mm -hmm. so. Anyways, all right, well, I'll see you soon. I'll take care of that windshield some other day. In the meantime, we got 15 on the front two roll-ups and every other piece of glass. We out. Till next time. Alrighty, guys, so we've been driving around with the uh, no windshield tint for a couple of days now. Back to daylight window tint. Dude, I don't know, I'm just used to windshield tint at this point, but I personally am blinded by having no windshield tint if I don't wear shades, of course. And I don't like wearing shades as much as I like just having a little bit of tint on the windshield. As of lately, I've been driving around with some pretty heavy windshield tint. So going from that 40% windshield tint to this on my Tundra, no tint on the windshield is pretty heavy, pretty, pretty brutal for me. 15% on the sides is really nice at nighttime. And I'll show you guys later on tonight what that's like driving with the 15. Actually having like the inside of the truck darker now, it makes looking forward so much worse because my eyes are adjusted to the inside of the truck here being a little bit darker. And so when I'm looking at the windshield and back inside of the truck here, my eyes have to really adjust to see really anything inside of here. All right, guys, so here's what it looks like appearance wise with having no windshield tint, 15% on these front two roll-ups, 15 over the tinted or the factory pigmented glass. Um, that's about limb on the rear, 15 now on the front two, and then nothing on the front. So with nothing on the front, it does lighten up these front two a little bit. As you guys can see, there's more light coming through the windshield based on the angle of the sun. It is going into that windshield and the heat is getting absorbed on that black dash right there, which having windshield tint, no matter what shade it is, if you do a ceramic film that rejects more heat, it will deflect more of the heat, not letting it soak into that dash as much. So big benefits there. But as far as looks wise, having a little bit of sh uh, tint on the front windshield will help uh, darken up these front two windows too. So yeah, that's the look right there with a little bit of sun coming through the windshield, 15 on the front two roll-ups. And that's about a limo now on the back uh, five windows with the 15 on top of the factory. All right, so welcome to the waiting room at Daylight Window Tint. You can see your car getting worked on too, which is pretty cool. Over here is the wall of window tint you can go with. So everything here is Lumar, by the way, which Lumar is one of the best films you can get. Um, and Lumar is also very choosy about which shops do carry their film. And I think only a certain amount of tin shops within a certain vicinity can even have their film. Uh, but anyways, the ATC series is the color stable dyed film. So this is the entry level film right here and then ceramic tint here. And then the higher performing ceramic film right here or the infrared rejecting ceramic tint. So a common misconception I feel like when it comes to window tints is the darker the shade you go with, the more IR rejection you get, which is the heat rejection. All of these do have a 99% UV protection. They all have that going on, but the IR rejections where you get the heat rejection. So over here, this is the color stable dyed film. This is going to be the lowest IR rejection right here, 28% down to or up to 29%. So pretty much all the same thing, even from a 5% limo tint up to a 50%, 28%, 29% down here. Pretty much the exact same thing. But then over here on the ceramic tint, the CTX series, so we have 50% up here, 5% down here, 79% IR rejection on the 5% limo, 68% right there. It's not a huge difference. A little bit of a change right there, but over here on the IRX, the infrared rejecting ceramic tint, 50% uh, gives you 87% IR rejection, and then 5% tint gives you 85% IR rejection. So not really different at all. So that's the common misconception right there, it is the darker the film, the more rejection of heat you get, which is debunked right here actually, because ATC, uh, this here is the entry level film, and that there, I feel so much heat, that's a heat lamp right there, through the 5% ATC film. And then here's the CTX, 
5%. That feels a lot better, like a lot better. I barely feel anything at all. And then IRX right here, and I literally feel nothing, like literally nothing. But then you have the Air 80 right here, and I feel still literally nothing. That there is the IRX, this top one right here, the Air 80. So it doesn't matter which shade you go with, you still get the same, pretty much the same heat rejection, no matter if it's like pretty much clear or pretty much blacked out. So anyways, we are getting the IRX, actually went with the 80 right here. This is the Air 80. And then they have a 50% right there, which I didn't, I thought that was a little too dark because I'm trying to keep it pretty transparent. So I went with the 80%, not, I thought it was 70, it's actually 80. So we're doing that right there. Uh, but yeah, there's the lineup right there and Pedro's in there doing his thing. And uh, in the meantime, we are just going to uh, chill out and kick it here in the uh, air conditioned waiting room and just kick it. We're just chilling. We are just chilling. All right, guys, so here it is. The 80% on the windshield and the 15% here on the side windows. Ooh, peek that view, by the way. Bay's looking right. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I can't even tell it's there, really. I mean, you can a little bit if you like look for or maybe if you get into a car that doesn't have windshield tint obviously the drive to the shop was a lot different than the drive home uh but i mean if you don't have like a direct comparison from one that's not tinted to this one at 80 percent, there's pretty much no difference it's fully transparent although i don't need shades at all anymore which is crazy because i always thought with 80 percent, i'd probably still need some shades but this does an excellent job at cutting the glare so no shades needed on my end right here. And the 15%, I think is also a really nice blend too, by the way, because it's darkest in the rear with the 15 on top of the uh, factory tint, 15 here on the front too. And then 80 on the front windshield is the perfect, perfect blend. And everything is totally transparent as I expected though, because even with the 5% tint in the daytime, I can see everything just fine. I don't have air conditioning on right now, which is crazy. It's super cool in here. Every piece of glass is now tinted with the Lumars IRX which is the highest performing level of film. So heat rejection is uh, is on point for sure. We'll pull off really quick here, see what it looks like in, okay, Prius, just, just going for it. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what it looks like outside of the truck here uh, in the daytime. Clearly from the inside, it's no problem at all. Uh, but let's see how she looks from the outside looking in, and then we'll go for a little cruise tonight and see what it's like driving this thing at nighttime. All right, so you guys saw what it looked like with the no windshield tint facing the sun once again and uh, now we'll see what it looks like with the windshield tint installed. Yeah, you can tell, you can totally tell. Um, the Air, the Lumar's Air 80 has a little bit of a blue tint to it too, it's pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure if this is their lightest uh, film they offer. They might offer a clear, I have no idea though. I'm not positive, but yeah, this here is Lumar's Air 80. And let's see if it makes the dark, the w side windows look a little bit darker. Uh, eh, not, I mean, not tremendously, not like, wow, whoa. Dang, dude, that guy took the insurance money for sure. But anyways, yeah, as far as the uh, the, the darkness goes here on the side profile with the Air 80 on the windshield, not a huge difference, but there you guys have it as far as transparency goes from the outside looking in. You guys can see in there pretty good. So yeah, I mean, it looks so much better though too. Makes the entire truck look so much better, so much more aggressive. Anyways, yeah, let's go for a little uh, night cruise and see how it looks from the inside looking out in the nighttime. I gotta say, dude, it is perfect. I can tell it's there a little bit, but not by much. So for comparison's sake right here, here's no tint. And then 80% on the windshield. You can kinda, I mean, if you look for it, you can tell it's there a little bit, but not, it's, it's nothing at all though. But I know you guys are most curious about the 15% right here, so. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's super, I can see how that just fine. As far as the windshield goes, it's super, super transparent. There's not one thing that is remotely impaired to me. Um, yeah, to compare it again, I mean, there's the no tint and there's the 80%. So, I mean, it's, it's like, it's there. You can tell for sure if you really look for it, but at the same time, like you, if you don't know it's there, you would, you'd never, you'd never be like, oh, I can't see i don't know it's, it's really just it's no big deal at all but yeah the 15 percent here on the sides again it does make things a little bit darker so to compare that with no tint and 15 percent it's definitely noticeable yeah this is amazing i think for anyone looking for something that's most functional as far as like your daily driving goes daytime and nighttime i think this here is the way to go because 
you do get a little bit of privacy, but, um, you know, because I hate being fully transparent. I hate when everyone can see super clearly through the windows and see exactly what I'm thinking at all times, which is, I don't know, it's just, it's super, like, a very exposed, just weird feeling to me, and I like the looks of it, too, of it being a little bit darker, so I think, to me, personally, I mean, I'm, if, in general, I think someone might want to go with the 35, which is a little bit lighter on the sides, but if you're okay with it being just a little bit darker, then I think 15% is, it's great. I think it's perfect. Um, I haven't run into one situation yet where this is too dark and I need to roll them down to see. It does make things a bit darker, but not too dark to where I need to roll them down um, at all, ever, so far. So yeah, this is nice. All right, guys, so here it is from the outside looking in at nighttime and you really can't tell it's there even at nighttime. It's still fully transparent. As you guys can see, I can see fully through it. Uh, even through the back windows as well. Now having the lighter tint on the side and rear windows does make a difference too as far as the appearance goes of the windshield uh, because more light is coming in through the side windows as compared to the tint I have on the ton drive limo on the sides. So as you guys saw on Pedro's BMW, he has 40 on his windshield, but 15 on his side windows, which makes his windshield look a little bit lighter, which is why it threw me off. So it does make a big difference if you want um, the appearance of your windshield tend to be a little bit darker then you have to do a darker film on the sides since we didn't go that dark on this one here we went a little bit lighter um, then it makes the front windshield look a little bit more transparent as well here is what it looks like looking in through the side windows here at nighttime a little bit of a glare but you know it's pretty transparent so yeah it's considered a medium tint you have the five percent limo that is the dark then you have the 15 percent that's a medium and then 35 percent is super light and of course it goes lighter from there but that's what most would consider to be the dark medium and the light shades right there um and the others most commonly used for things like windshields like 50 percent. but that right there is pretty much all i have for you guys today as always hope you guys enjoyed and uh see you guys very soon until next time, peace out.